Hi friends, welcome to the video of connectives. In this video, we will discuss about three connectives called conjunction, disjunction and negation with some examples. At the end of this video, you will be able to define what you mean by conjunction, define disjunction, define negation. So, first let's have an idea what do you mean by connectives. Connectives are the words which are used to combine simple statements to form compound statements. There are so many words which are used to combine two or more sentences, but we are interested in only studying those words which when used gives a definite meaning in terms of logics. And these words are and, or, and not. And is called conjunction, or is called disjunction, not is called negation. So what do you mean by conjunction? If two simple statements are connected by the word and, then the resulting compound statement is called conjunction. In the symbolic form, it is always represented by hat. So if P and Q are two simple statements, when connected with the word and, the resulting statement comes out to be a compound statement and it is called conjunction of P hat Q. Let's take some examples on conjunctions. Suppose you have two statements. It is a sunny day. It is hot today. And we want to use conjunction to form the compound statement. How can we do it? We will say that P and Q is a statement. It is a sunny day and it is a hot today. So we are combining these two statements. It is a sunny day, it is a hot with the word and. So it is a conjunction of the statement P and Q. Similarly, the statements Alex is going to watch movie. Alisa is going to watch movie. So we are combining these two statements with the word and and it comes out to be Alex and Alisa are going to watch movie. Suppose you have statements, I have two goldfish, I have a cat. What would be the conjunction of this one? I have two goldfish and a cat. So here the word and. Similarly, can you please tell me if this statement fish swims in water and 3 plus 3 is equals to 5. Is this a conjunction? The answer is very simple. Yes, it is a conjunction because the two statements here are fish swims in water is a one sentence. The other sentence is 3 plus 3 is equals to 5. So these two sentences are joined by the word and. So this is obviously a conjunction. Now let's define what we mean by disjunction. Two simple statements, if they are connected by the word or, then the resulting compound statement is called disjunction. And it is symbolically represented by the letter V. So P, V, Q, like this. Uh, the examples are, suppose you have two statements, a triangle has four sides, pentagon has five sides. These are the two statements how to join these statements with the word R. So this is triangle has four sides or pentagon has five sides. Similarly, the two statements are the number 102 is written as 102 and the another statement is 50 cents are written as dollar 0 0.50. So the disjunction of these two statements are going to be the number 102 is written as 102 or 50 cents are written as dollar 0 0.50. Delhi is the capital of India. India is an Asian country. These two statements joining with the word or it comes out to be Delhi is the capital of India or India is an Asian country. What do you mean by negation? Negation of a statement is always defined as opposite of the original statement as the word negation itself gives the definition of the things. So, it is generally introduced in the start of the proper sentence by placing the word like not, it is not the case, 
or it is false things like that so that the statement becomes the have opposite meaning of the original statement so usually in the symbolic form it is represented by uh, tilde p note one thing that negation is not a connective here we are not uh, joining two statements to form another statement but uh, and it does not combines two or more statement although we include negation in a connectives so examples for the negations are new delhi is a city so what would be the negation opposite meaning of this statement new delhi is not a city the other way of writing it is that it is not the case that new delhi is a city or we can say it like that it is a false that new delhi is a city i went to my class yesterday how to make the negation of this one i did not go to my class yesterday it is not the case that i went to my class yesterday i was absent from my class yesterday so all these threes have the meaning opposite to this statement that i went to my class yesterday 2 plus 3 is equals to 6 so its negation can be it is not the case that 2 plus 3 is equals to 6 it is false that 2 plus 3 is equals to 6 all natural numbers are integers so what would be the negation of the statement not all natural numbers are integers there exists a natural number which is not an integer it is not the case that all natural numbers are integers it is false that all natural numbers are integers so all natural numbers are integers and it is not an integer we can write it in these four ways so this is how we studied about conjunction disjunction negation with the proper examples key points discussed in this videos are conjunction and its definition with examples disjunction explain with the help of examples negation and its definition with different examples how can you use this in this video we discuss about connectives connectives are very much useful in high level computer programming and digital electronics many languages also provide short circuit control structure using logical connectives logical conjunctions are also used in sql operations to form database queries logical disjunctions are always used for bitwise operations Thank <music> you.